हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी लेट्स स्टार्ट विद चैप्टर नाइन इट इज़ द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम द प्रॉब्लम से इज दैट लोकेट द सेंटर ऑफ मास ऑफ द होमोजीनियस रॉड बेंट इन टू द शेप ऑफ ए सर्कुलर आर्क सो वी नीड टू फाइंड द सेंटर ऑफ मास राइट सो वी नीड टू फाइंड एक्स बार एंड वाई बार सो एक्स बार विल बी इक्वल टू एक्स बार टाइम्स एल एंड वी कैन राइट दैट दिस विल बी इक्वल टू एक्स टेल डार times dl this is our equation right or if we can divide both sides by the total length right and the total length will be equal to the summation of the small differential lengths and we need to define our small differential length right so in this equation we know we need to have this dl so the radius of this uh circular arc is 300 right so i will let me erase this 300 so that we have a clear free body diagram so now if i define my differential length right so this will be our differential length let's see let's say that from here to here this is my differential length and this is dl and since we are assuming that the thickness is very small right so it is having only length right so let's say that we have defined this differential length at some angle theta let's say that this angle is theta so we can write that and this this is since this is a small differential length so it will be equal to d theta so this small angle is d theta so as we know that s is equal to r theta so now here the s is dl so we can write the dl and for this the radius is 300 mm right so the radius is 300 so this is 300 and for dl theta is d theta so now this is our dl that differential length which is equal to 300 d theta and if you want to find the total length so the total length of this arc will be equal to again we will use this formula so the total length is equal to 300 times the total angle and the total angle is this is 90 plus uh, 30 so this is 120 and this is 120 so the total angle is 240 so 240 degrees is the angle so we need to have that angle in radians right so is we know that 360 degrees is equal to 2 pi radians or we can say that 1 degree is 2 pi by 360 so 240 degrees will be uh, 240 degrees is equal to 2 pi by 360 into 240 So when we solve this, then two forty degrees is four pi divided by three. So two forty degrees is two pi four uh, pi divided by three, right? So this is four pi divided by three. So now if I put four pi divided by three here, so this will give us the total length. So the total length is is three hundred divided by three is hundred, and hundred into four is four hundred pi. So the total length is. 400 pi and this will be in millimeters since the radius is in millimeters so now we know the total length right this is we know our total length in this equation so now we need to find this integral and this integral this will be x bar and this is x tilde into dl so we need to find x tilde dl and x tilde is the location of the centroid of this differential length from the y axis is so now if i draw let's say that from here to here this is the radius <clears throat> so x tilde is the location of the centroid from the x axis is so this will be x tilde right if i draw a perpendicular from here so the location of the centroid of this differential length from the x axis is, is x tilde so this is x tilde so now if this length is radius so then x tilde is 
r cos of theta right if this is some angle theta so then this is r cos of theta and r is 300 so we can write that this is x tilde is r cos of theta and r is 300 so 300 cos of theta into dl and dl is 300 d theta so 300 d theta so this is this is 300 into 300 so this is 300 square cos of theta and d theta and now we need to integrate this from since this is minus 120 degrees and this is plus 120 degrees so we need to integrate it from minus 120 degrees into 120 degrees so this is 300 square and cos of theta is sine of theta and this is from minus 120 to plus 120 degrees so 300 square sine of 120 degrees minus sine of minus 120 degrees so i will shift my calculator to degrees right so now we can write that this is 300 square into sine of 120 minus sine of minus 120 so this gives us one double five double eight four one double five double eight four point five seven and now we have this equation let's say this is equation one so from equation one we can say that x bar is uh, this integral so this integral is one double five double eight four point five seven divided by the length which is 400 pi so 400 pi and this is we can divide our answer by 400 pi so this gives us 124 millimeters so x bar is 124 millimeters so the center of mass of this uh, circular arc is located at a distance of 124 mm from the y axis so let's say that if i draw a vertical line like this and if i move this vertical line a distance of 124 mm so the radius is 300 so 124 is somewhere here so on this vertical line the center of mass of this circular arc is located now we need to find the y bar as well right so the location of the center of mass from the x-axis is so as we can see that uh, this circular arc is symmetrical about the x-axis so if it is symmetrical about the x-axis so the center of mass need to lie on the x-axis so this means that somewhere here is the center of mass otherwise uh, so from this we can say that uh, from this symmetry we can say that y bar equals to zero and if you people are not sure about this so you people can apply this equation and that equation will verify that y bar is, e is equal to zero so now let's verify that as well so now for y bar we will have the equation y bar equals to y tilde dl divided by the total length so now we need to integrate this right so i can write that this is let me write this as 1 divided by l and l is that 400 pi and now y tilde so y tilde is the location of the centroid of this differential length from the x-axis so this is y tilde and now y tilde will be r sine of theta r sine of theta so r is 300 so 300 sine of theta into dl and again dl is 300 d theta so 300 d theta so this will become 300 square so we can write that this is 300 square divided by 400 pi sine of theta d theta and again the integral is from minus 120 degrees to plus 120 degrees this is 300 square divided by 400 pi and sine of theta is
cos of theta with minus sign right and this is from minus 120 to plus 120 so this is 300 square divided by 400 pi and minus cos of 120 plus sorry this is uh, minus cos of 20 minus minus cos of minus 120 so this will become plus so this is minus cos of 20 plus cos of minus 120 so minus cos of 120 plus cos of minus 120 this gives us zero so if this whole terms become zero so if we multiply it with zero so that will be equal to zero so this means that y bar equals to zero so it is due to the symmetry that the y coordinate of the center of mass of this circular arc is zero so now we can say that the center of mass of this circular arc is located somewhere here and its coordinates are 124 0 mm so this is the solution of this particular problem kindly subscribe my channel for the solution of such more problems from Hebler statics